Rick, I gotta tell you something. Oh, come on, not now, Shane. No, I have to confess. I did something. Come on, Shane, not now. I, no, I have to say, Shane, I already know, okay? I know. Really, you know that I slept with Carl? What? Hey guys, welcome to another 31 Horror Toys and 31 Days Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Comic Series 5 Shane figure by McFarlane Toys. And this guy is amazingly awesome. I do like him quite a bit. Maybe a few slight complaints, which I will go over in a few minutes. But first off, let's take a look at the packaging, which I like the way they're doing this new packaging. It's very cool. I like that at least we're getting these 5-inch comic book figures. I might as well point that out. Because having no 5-inch figures was just a really depressing thing. Okay, as you can see, it says Series 5 over here. It's got some nice walkers up there. It says Shane, which is nice to see his name all bold like that. Since he is a bold feller, sleeping with other people's wives and children. Okay, it says The Walking Dead up there. It's got some more walkers and says 12+, plus, something about that or something. And McFarlane Toys put their ugly stamp on there. Here's the other figures from the Wave, which I do have the Negan still looking for these other guys. I will be reviewing the Negan soon. As you can see, there's the Shane, which he comes with all of his Shane-ly glory. Yeah, looking cool there. I don't think there's anything to point out. Okay, on to the figure. Let me set this aside. Okay, so the figure himself is really cool, but let's take a look at the accessories first, first which is something I don't often do. Let's take a look here. Here is the all severed head that is really up to date with the new comics and not really fitting to go with an old Shane figure, but whatever. And I'm gonna, not going to even bother saying spoiler because we know people got their heads cut off and, you know, that's Shane. So, Shane dies. Everyone should know that. If you like Walking Dead at all, you know Shane dies. That's the one thing he does. Okay, so I do like this head sculpt. It's got a nice severed bottom here, and then there's a little hole that's supposed to peg into this stake. And then, uh, it's very well sculpted. I would like to put this on another figure's body to make sort of a zombie custom. That would be cool. He's got this nice goatee here. Looks kind of sad. In fact, he doesn't look too undeadish or zombieish. He just looks like a sad, bald fellow. I say bald because just look at him. He looks bald. You can see his skin through a little hat here. I like this hat. It's a nice sculpt. Ugh. Dropped his head. There we are. Okay, so it's painted well and sculpted well. I can definitely say that. Let's set that onto his stake, which is, you know, it's okay. It's a little too flimsy. I don't like that. It's a lot more flimsy than a toothpick would be. So let's pop that on there. And, in fact, a tiny little part of it broke off at the base. But I don't think you can really tell because, yeah. Pops into there, which has a nice grass sculpt to it, which... I'm not even going to bother saying spoilers for this stuff. You know what? This is what Alpha and the, uh, whatever's did. What was it? The <laughs> Whisperers. The Whisperers. It's the Whisperers. Yeah. So there he is there. And then Shane also comes with an alternate zombie head, which I guess saying that Shane dies is a fair thing because I would have to show off this head anyway. It's well sculpted and well painted. I don't really have any complaints about it. It does look maybe a little too much like Solomon Grundy or, I don't know, Bizarro from Superman. Just looks a little odd there. But I do like the way it looks. I noticed that we didn't get one zombie in this way of kind of distancing themselves from the walkers. Especially since Color Tops hasn't had one, and now Comic Series 5 doesn't have one walker. They, hey, what's up with all the lack of walker love? Okay, so this accessory pegs into his... A uh, little neck there. And, uh, yeah, it's it's okay. Like, if you hold him like that, it looks okay. I'm not a fan of it. I really just think it's a waste of time to give this head. Maybe instead could have gotten a few more guns, which I'm a big gun collector of these figures. It's, I've got a bag full of their weapons. I love them. Okay, and it doesn't match up with the neck, so if you wanted to, you could customize it, but then you'd just have Zombie Shane. And I'm not a fan of the mismatched colors. It's just, yeah, there's not much they could have done with that. It's just their idea of putting a zombie head in there. Because I believe every character in this wave has an interchangeable head. Yeah, every character. Except for Negan, unfortunately. If Negan came with a clean-cut face, that would be amazing. But I'm guessing McFarlane had the uh, thoughts of doing it. And then he was just like, eh, let's be cheap and just throw in a baseball bat that he didn't use while in that costume. 
Yep, thanks McFarlane. Okay, so he's also got this shotgun here, which is one we've seen before, so I won't spend too much time on it, but fits in his hand awfully well. It looks good. His finger can actually kind of go into the trigger hold there. And yeah, just basic shotgun look. Well painted, well sculpted. It also comes with a pistol, which I hate this pistol. This is just total crap. It's terribly sculpted. It looks like the, uh, the pistol that came with Gareth, only less detailed. It looks like they sanded it down so it would be more slim, so it would fit in his holster. And honestly, it just looks like crap. Yeah. I did an entire review of all of the little pistols that the figures came with, so check that out. I'll put that in the little suggestion box up here. Yep, no paint details or anything. It's just a little plastic piece of crap. And it doesn't really fit into his hand too well. It's a little fidgety, so... Great, great job, McFarlane. Great job. But you know what? At least we get 5-inch figures. Okay, and then that goes into his holster there, which you can then clip down. Let's see... Yeah, there we are. Okay, so, okay, it doesn't stay down. M my fault, it's so unfortunate. And he can't hold the rifle in two hands, I might as well po point out. He can't really, I, I suppose if you fidget with it a lot and get this hand a lot more loose, he can get it looking right, but it for me, it just doesn't really work. Too much work. I'm too lazy to do that with figures. Let's see. Erg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So much work. Yeah, see, it just doesn't really work. It's better to just have him walking around like that. Which does look cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure's sculpt, paint, and details. And as you can see, he looks fairly cleanly painted. His eyes are on center. His eyebrows look nice. He's got the little police uh, writing on his hat there. I, he looks like the Shane from the comics, I can definitely say that, he looks like that. Some people say that he looks a lot like the Rick from the comics, but that's not really fair because all of those early Walking Dead comics, everyone kind of looked the same as each other. It, the artist wasn't, you know, wasn't the greatest, but I do like that old art style. And then as you can see, he's got this weird blanket around his neck, I'm not sure, I don't know, I don't remember when he put that in there, but... I haven't read those early comics in a while. He's got his badges up here on his shoulder and then on his chest. Very well sculpted. It's got some gold paint on it. No real tiny details put in there. Just the basic shapes like a little eagle there and then just you can kind of see a circle and then where his name would be even though there's no name there. And then same on the other side. And then he's got these gold buttons all over painted well. He's got this black wash like all over. Gold stripe here and here. I don't know, maybe, I like that they didn't put a bunch of blood on him. That's something that they did with a lot of comic figures, like the Rick figures, and just like, I don't know, pretty much all of them have blood just sprayed on them for no reason. I like that they didn't do that with the most figures in this way. Let's see, I think, maybe Glenn has some blood on him, but the rest are relatively clean. You know, as clean as you can be in a Walker Apocalypse. So anyway, the sculpt on him looks fair. He's got a nice muscular looking body, which is something that, McFarlane usually has trouble with. His bodies always look a little frumpy, but this guy looks muscular, which is fitting for Shane because he's like the muscle-bound guy I'd always figure. His torp bottom uh, half here looks a little short, maybe. That seems like it should be longer, and I believe he should be taller than Rick, right? So here's the comic series Rick. They sort of stand at the same height. Yeah, and because Rick has these screwed up legs that have to be pre-posed like that, it looks like Rick would actually be a little bit taller. That's odd. So yeah, his legs do seem a little short. Not, not a huge complaint. That's just something that probably has to do with the new articulation that they have. And you can see his butt here, which I, I feel like these legs weren't aligned properly, like on mine. This is probably not a problem that everyone has. But they just seem like they're a little off. Doesn't really present a problem for him standing, though, so... There we go. Uh, the sculpt on his shoes as well, very nice. The wrinkles all throughout look good. So, that's the sculpt, basically, as you can tell. It's done well. So let's talk about the articulation on him. His head can do a full 360 spin. He can look down that much, look up that much. He's got a little bit of head pivot, so he can be expressive. I do like that head pivot. I didn't even know what to call that at first. Okay, so full 360 spin at the shoulder. He can move upward to 
not even close to a right angle to his body. And then he's got a uh, bend at the elbow to about a 90 degree angle. He can bend backwards and do a full 360 spin at that elbow. And then at the wrist he's got that spin that can go full 360. Then it's kind of weird, you can kind of manipulate it around so you can get that uh, rolling the dice pose or scratching at the wall pose. So not bad there. Same on both arms, except for maybe the elbow bends a slight bit less. Then at the waist, there's no real articulation. Uh, it's kind of common with Walking Dead figures. They're a little too tight there. You can't really articulate them. Articulate. Yep, it's actually articulate, so whatever. Uh, he can kick up at the hips that much. And he can kick outward. Let me bring it down. Ugh. That much. Like, more than he would need. Way more than he would need about the same on both sides, maybe a little less inhibited by this holster. Then at the knees he can bend to almost a 90 degree angle on both sides. Then at the ankles he's got a lot of articulation actually, it's not a huge amount but for these guys pretty good. He can move forward that much, backward that much, and then he can do a full 360 spin as well as have a little bit of ankle pivot. So it's on a ball joint so you can basically move it around as much as is possible since the legs are a little bit inhibited, it's a bit of a problem, but not too much. Okay, so that's basically the figure. I like them quite a bit. I would recommend getting them. Try not to get them for complete retail price, because $18 may be a little much for some people. But if you see them for retail price and you want them, pick them up. He's worth it. He's pretty cool. Great art accessories, great paint, great sculpts. Some slight, maybe, engineering problems with the bottom half of his torso. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stick around for other reviews. I will see you guys in the next review, and make sure to uh, stick around for the size comparisons. I'll see you guys then. Shane stands at just about five and a quarter inches tall. Here's Comic Shane next to the TV Rick figure. Here's Shane next to the Comic Series 3 Rick figure. And here's Shane next to a doofus.